What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Omelette, bringing you more Destiny beta footage. In my last video, I covered the new Sun single cast for the Warlock. This time, I'm going to look at the Titan. So if you remember when I did the Alpha videos, all we had access to was one of the subclasses for each of the three Guardians. Now, they've actually released a second subclass for each of the ones, and then the third one's actually going to come out when the game drops on September 9th. So I figured, you know what, let's go take a look at what the new subclass is. So to start off, if you're in the Titan class, you know Striker. It's all about pounding the ground. It's all about causing massive AoE effective damage. And it's all about damaging as much people as possible and tanking a lot of the damage. However, now with the Defender, they're going to ramp it up to a whole new level. So as always, you go Grenades. Then you go your Jumps, your Special Ability, your Melee Attacks. Then your Ability Driven um, Armor Tech sort of uh, abilities. And then finally, your Master Class stuff. So we'll look at grenades, a grenade that attaches to an enemy and explodes twice, a uh, spike, a grenade that attaches to any surface and emits a torrent of damage void light, and then an explosive grenade that prevents enemies from using abilities for a short time. Those are really nice. Um, all grenades, they kind of regenerate themselves, so any of them really help. Right now with the Titan class, under the first one, your initial grenade actually stuns them in place, versus this one's more of like a sticky grenade. Um, I could see a use for both, but at this point, they both seem about even. Uh, your lifts, your jumps, those are always going to be the same for every class. And then here's where we get to the big difference that makes a Defender different from the Striker. You get Ward of Dawn, shaped Void Light into an indestructible shield to protect you and your allies from home. Now this is vastly different from the Striker, which does the ground pound, almost like a Hulk smash, and does massive damage to everything around it. So one's about output versus one's about defense. Armor of Light, while inside Ward of Dawn, you and your allies gain significant damage resistance. Blessing of Light, passing through Ward of Dawn grants you and your allies a temporary shield. And Weapons of Light, passing through Ward of Dawn grants you and your allies a temporary increase to your weapon damage. So, this is a lot of you. If you hadn't checked out my Warlock video, go check it out. Because in that one, we looked at Sun Single versus the Void Walker. The Sun Single was all about helping out your allies, and that's what this seems to be as well. So from what we've known so far, there's going to be a pure damage output class, subclass for other characters. There's going to be a pure help your allies and healing and giving them status boosts for every character. So I'm curious what the third one's going to be. But we'll get into the melees next. It's uh, disintegrate, killing an enemy with this powerful melee. Attack creates a force barrier around you which absorbs incoming damage. While force barriers active all your weapons and reload and re blindly reload faster. Uh, when the shield created by disintegrate is active in your kills a chance to create orbs of light and force barrier continually recharges and then finally your megas is reduce the cooldown time for ward of dawn heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs of light for your allies and illuminated increases the benefit granted, granted by blessing of light increases of light damage so that's it um, that's the defender class it seems to be 100 percent built on keeping you alive and keeping your allies alive you know Getting down that Ward of Dawn, getting your teammates to pass through the Ward of Dawn, getting everybody shields, getting everybody buffs, and then running in and then just mailing the crap out of the people around you. Um, so that's it. That's my time. Uh, that's the second video in the Destiny Beta Ability class setups. So far we've gone through the Warlock and we've gone through the Titan. That just leaves the Hunter class luck. Look for that later today. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel like... Uh, people actually enjoy the work I'm putting out. So thank you so much for stopping by. And as always.